Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at zero coupon bonds and I'm going to be fully explaining them. Now by the end of this video you're going to understand everything you need to know about them as well as all the benefits and disadvantages. So make sure you watch all the way to the end so you don't miss any important details. So to start with what are they? A zero coupon bond is a type of bond that does not pay interest but instead trades at a deep discount, rendering profit and maturity when the bond is redeemed for its full face value. Unlike regular bonds, zero coupon bonds do not make periodic interest payments. Instead, these bonds are issued at a deep discount and repay the par value, also known as face value, at maturity. The difference between the purchase price and the par value represents the investor's return. Because they offer the entire payment at maturity, zero coupon bonds tend to fluctuate in price much more than coupon bonds. The interest earned on a zero coupon bond is an inputted interest, meaning there is an estimated interest rate for the bond, not an established interest rate. So how does it actually work? They work in a unique way. They do not pay periodic coupons, hence the name zero coupon. Instead, these bonds are issued at a deep discount to their face value. Let's consider an example. Suppose a bond with a face amount of $20,000 that matures in 20 years with a 5.5% yield may be purchased for roughly $6,855. At the end of the 20 years, the investor will receive $20,000. The difference between $20,000 and $6,855, or $13,145, represents the interest that compounds automatically until the bond matures. So what are the benefits? To start with reliability. If you keep the bond to mature, you will essentially be guaranteed a sizable return on your investment. It's also good for targeted financial needs, such as college tuition or a down payment on a home. You also get a deep discount. Savvy investors often look for zero coupon bonds because they can be bought at deep discount to their face value. When you mature, you receive their full face value. So that's how you profit. The difference between the initial discounted price and what you collect when the bond comes due. It's also a hedge for stock investors. Zero coupon US Treasury bonds can move up significantly when the Fed cuts rates aggressively. These gains can more than offset stock related losses, so treasury zeros are often an excellent hedge for stock investors. So what about the disadvantages? To start with interest rate risk. Zero coupon bonds are very sensitive to interest rate changes. If the Federal Reserve raises interest rates, the price of these bonds can fall significantly. Also, no regular income. Since these bonds do not pay periodic interest, they may not be suitable for investors who require regular income from their investments. And finally, there's tax implications. The inputted interest on zero coupon bonds is subject to income tax every year, even though the investor does not receive any cash until maturity. This is sometimes referred to as phantom interest. So this has been my video fully explaining how zero coupon bonds work. Hopefully now that you've watched this video, you fully understand them, and you can use some of what you learned in this video to assist you when you look at buying zero coupon bonds. So I hope you found this video helpful, and thanks for watching.